Okay, what's going on everybody? In this episode, we're taking a trip up to Nashville, Tennessee to take care of two very, very special projects. The first of which is gonna be a ceramic coating on a Chevrolet 2500 HD black pickup truck. And we're gonna be using G-Technique Ultra professional grade ceramic coating. Gonna be showing you some tips and tricks of how to do a ceramic coating by yourself on your own, including some tips about paint correction, some techniques. After that, on the second video that we'll be getting into, we'll be on a F-250 and we are doing a tree sap removal all over this truck. It is a work truck, it is a nightmare. But we're gonna get through it. It's gonna be made very, very easy for you to follow along. Hope you get some good information out of this. Let's get straight into it. Gonna be doing a ceramic coating with G-Technique Crystal Serum Ultra. It is a professional line of uh, G-Technique and gonna be working on this Chevrolet. It's a brand new truck, fairly new. I wouldn't say brand new. As you can see, it's filthy, it's dirty. I'm gonna go over it. I'm gonna have to really, really do some work on this. I'm gonna show you all the steps. The steps that I am taking to detail this Chevrolet 2500 HD. Now, as you can see, this truck is filthy. And I'm gonna show you very, very up close here how dirty we're talking about. So that's underneath, that's the wheels. Coming around, you can see here how bad it really is. Now, this truck is gonna have to be washed. And after it's washed, it's gonna have to be clay barred. It's gonna have to be iron decontaminated, of course. And um, it's gonna have to go through a process. Now, <clears throat> The good thing is, is that just looking at the front of this thing, I mean, it's just bad. There's bugs all over it, everything else. It's the inside. As you can see, it's dirty. All right, so inside right now, doing a paint correction, already did the other side. Uh, the main thing to realize is, regardless of what uh, product that you're using, you wanna go on a crosshatch pattern. And I'm gonna show you what a crosshatch pattern is. It just means up and down, side to side, work it slow. It doesn't matter if the product, if your technique is good, you're gonna come out with some pretty good results. And if you're using a product that is meant for what you're trying to do. So what I mean is, is that you have heavy, heavy swirls. You're gonna to wanna to use a compound followed by a, followed by a polish. And if you just have minor, minor uh, swirls from washing, all that you need is just a polish nine times out of 10 to get that clear uh, finish that you want and basically smooth out the surface. And once you do that, then you wanna wipe it down with an IPA solution. What that means is an isopropyl alcohol solution. Now, you could go 10 to one, it's plenty, just wipe it down. There's a lot of products out there that say that, you know, you can spray it on and wipe it off you know, and that'll prep the surface. You don't necessarily need to buy that. Rubbing alcohol works just fine. Just make sure that you don't get it on any of your plastic trim because it will whiten the plastic trim out and also rubber out. So um, it will turn it white. So besides that, um, let me go ahead and show you um, the pattern here for the crosshatch pattern as far as doing this paint correction. So let's go, here we go.
to keep in mind on this truck, this truck is a fairly new truck, so it has minor swirls in it, but it does not need any type of uh, super heavy paint correction. That means um, super hard compounding, um, they're great coarse products, anything like that. So just a simple um, two-step, works just fine. Pattern is the same on each step. The main thing is just allow for adequate coverage. Okay, so this is Crystal Serum Ultra, professional grade, using the applicator pad that it came with. The biggest thing about using a ceramic coating is making sure that you take your time, not too much time, but it's all about patience and technique. Once you do your paint correction, your paint should look like this, pretty close to it. I'm gonna take the pad, I'm only gonna work in a small area. And you want a crosshatch pattern. And make sure that it's covered. I'm only gonna work a small area. Just like so. And make sure that it's all covered. I want this truck, just like any vehicle, I want it to be covered. It's black. It's going to look absolutely stunning. I hope the camera can pick it up. But you can see where that has been applied. And now, we're right about 20 seconds. Is it very hard to keep it out here a few minutes? It does take a total on how long you can let this product stand. Use a microfiber towel. Off. 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 To pay someone to do this, we charge normally on a vehicle this size, $1,500, $2,000, not counting travel, mileage. No, I'm not. How much would you charge me to uh, detail the two layers? What we're doing this last portion here, we're going to work half 